Hello and welcome back. I'm Faintly Saintly and this is Taskmaster VR with my friends Greg and little Alex Horn. Now, if you're watching along, I've done a review of the game and I've also done a video playthrough of episode one. And now we're back for episode two. So we're doing a new video every episode. So if you're conscious of spoilers or don't want to ruin all the surprises when you play yourself, you can watch as much or as little as you like. So as you can see, we've got a Baker's 13 on the first episode, fell a bit short on the uh, stage task at the end there, but now we're up to episode two. So let's see what surprises these guys have in store for us. Now I haven't played beyond episode one before, so this is all going to be brand new to me as well. So let's see what happens. And we'll meet you there. That giant duck is kind of creepy, but I like it. Let's go. Hello, creepy Hello, crowd of eyes. Master, the show where I, Greg Davis, watches you master or fail to master some tasks. And to my left is a man who looks like something that rolled under the oven about a year and a half ago and is just out of reach of the Hoover. It's <laughs> little Alex Horn. Thank you, Greg. Shall I summarize my role as the Taskmaster's assistant? No. On with the episode. <laughs> Hello. I love it's these Alex cheeky bands. Tasks we were playing. Pom de terre. <laughs> All right, what have they got for us? Well, this is sounding tropical. Lovely, eggy, eggy, eggy. This task mm. should earn everyone involved a bonus point for not doing any egg puns. I'd be a shell of a man if I didn't make an egg pun. Drop an egg through the pipe and get it as far as possible into the frying pan. Touching anything the egg is currently touching will disqualify that run. You have 20 minutes. Your time starts ready, now. Pick up the egg and drop it through the pipe to start. That's the pipe, right there with the duck on top. Just pop an egg in it and use whatever you can to get that egg as far as possible into your frying pan. Right, I see. Anything the egg is touching while it's moving, or I'll disqualify that run. Gotcha. Good well, luck. remember, you can make as many egg attempts as you want. Oh, we can, okay. I mean. This kind of seems the obvious solution, but can they actually attach? Hmm. What goodies have we got in the shed? Sorry, not the shed, in the uh, shed. There's a plank. Greg bought that because he said it resembled my face. <laughs> okay. And what are these? Are they openable or are they just. Looks like they're just big, sturdy objects, which is good. Let's try this then. I'm thinking if I put this here, it could be a good little ramp that'll get some distance for sure. So I think, like I said, I have as many attempts as I want. So I could just get a little practice run in. Thank you, chicken. Close. If I get one score on the board. That's the baseline established. Yes. Baseline of 6.5 meters. We can do better. What else have we got around here? Suitcases. The fake bookshelf has become a real bookshelf. <laughs> 
maybe we need the garage. What's in here? Oh, have a look at this. Another of the Taskmaster's late night pilferings. Oh. That could have made a good funnel, but it's not open. I mean, surely this is part of the solution. So, we can go there. We need something a little bit shorter than that box. Like this box. There's always cardboard boxes. The problem is, I haven't seen this before, so I don't know what the real baseline is. How, uh, what's a good result? What's a bad result? Uh, that's more than doubled our first attempt. Is a nerdy video game homage to Mario with all the traveling through pipes. Oh, also to Sonic because of Eggman. And if there are any frying pan video game characters, it's a homage to them too. <laughs> oh man, they uh, really nailed the writing in this. Okay, that's got to be a decent little score there. Oh no, that's not what we want. That's good. Can you tip over? There we go. Oh no, stay down. So, more pipe. Got a bath with a fez in it. <laughs> oh, look at this. So how can I... I really should have... Probably should have used that at the front, anyway. Okay, that's fine, that comes to there. I'm really feeling the uh, the pressure <laughs> of the time limit. You don't really think about it when you watch the show, you think, oh, this will be easy. Okay, that's not bad. I think if I get another length of half pipe, that should wedge under that pipe, and that'll get some more distance. So my theory is, I can put this under that pipe. Hopefully without breaking everything. Maybe. Well, that's a bit broken. Can I move that down? Okay. Good. Let's uh just see if the egg will actually travel down that. Oh no. Ten minutes remaining. Oh jeez. Great being outside, building something with your bare hands, isn't it? Really gets you in touch with humanity, with our legacy of ingenuity and perseverance. That's what the taskmaster told me when he made me oh, no. a greenhouse for him anyway. Disqualification, no points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me that egg. Disqualification, no points. But the egg got caught in the old egg. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. So what I need to do is just slide that one out there. Okay, I'm good. So I need to connect those. 
I have no idea if that's going to work, but I need to do something. Uh-oh. Come on. Disqualification, no points. <laughs> I think I've botched this one quite badly. Oh man, okay. Alright, okay. You're out of there. Disqualification, no points. Maybe do that. If I get where's that little box? Oh man, pressure's on. Oh Jesus. <laughs> so I think with the right preparation you could have something where you you don't actually touch an item that the egg's touching, but you knock something else out and make it fall or something like that. Five minutes. Oh god. Five minutes remaining. I like to think of this task as a nerdy video game homage to Mario with all the travelling through pipes. Oh, also to Sonic. Because What's happening? Man. Another shell in there. Clown video game characters. It's a homage to them too. Disqualification, no points. Okay. God, help me, Alex. Here we go. Yes? Eight meters. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to get the five points this time, let me tell you that. <laughs> Too random. I think we are cooked. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Well done. Okay. Time to sneak in another attempt, perhaps? Maybe. What I get? 13. I mean, that's... Better than I thought. <laughs> ah, stop it. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. That'll do me. Was that a real 20 minutes? I'm gonna have to edit this episode down. <laughs> all right, lay it on me, Greg. I'll be very surprised if I make it through this scoring section in one go, because watching all those eggs drop through pipes has had a strong Pavlovian effect on my bowels. <laughs> but let's see what happens. Oh. I was impressed by the amount of hustle on the show. All that stuff getting lugged around, like if a removal company was paid by the job instead of by the hour. All right, let's drop some scores. Not quite as impressive a food delivery contraption as the one at the start of Back to the Future, but certainly as good as the one in Back to the Future 3. And so, logically, three points. Better than I expected, to be honest. That was a... <laughs> didn't agree with me. demands another task immediately. Right now. Let's gato it. Uh oh. We're in the dome. Naggy yet artistic flatmate. Hello. Hello. Stay inside the dome for the duration of this task. You got it. 
create a picture of an elaborate cake on each canvas using sticky notes. Your cakes must match as closely as possible. You have six minutes, your time starts now. Create a picture of an elaborate cake on each canvas using sticky notes. As in, they have to match that cake. So the back has to match the front. Time starts now. Okay, the easel has commenced rotation. What? Oh. Hopefully that made sense. Pick up the sticky notes and stick them to the canvases. Do your best to copy the picture of the cake to the other side of the easel. Easy. Gotcha. I think I was right. All the artistic flair you can muster to copy the cake. Just don't make yourself too sick chasing the canvases around. That is the worry. We're doing this right. That's a pretty decent border. How long do I have? have now reached maximum propulsion. Uh oh. Really didn't have to uh, do that to me, Alex. Oh, actually, they don't go all the way up or down. Should be able to do that, I reckon. There we go. So, purple and yellow. Purple is the top left and bottom right. Nice if we gave a bit more space to work with Alex. How's that looking? I think it's alright. If I was Greg, I'd give me five points for this masterpiece. All right, I think I'll consider that done. Beautiful, what have we got here? This one's a bit more complicated. White, blue, white, blue, white, blue. Is that right? White, blue, white, blue, white, blue. White, blue, white, blue, white, blue. Three high, do we reckon? Three minutes to go. Looks about right. Maybe we need to focus on the chocolate chips. There's one in the top left here. There's one just under that here. One here. One here, and then three more, one in the middle. Let's say one there and one there. I'll move those two down one actually, that one down. There we go. And then traditional muffin color here. Looks like cheese. Jeez, you'd think I'd done this before. Making cakes out of sticky notes is actually a hobby of mine. So we're hanging over this side a bit. Pointy top and then more angled on that side. Pointy top, more angled on that side. I think, I think I've nailed it. You know what, I'm happy with that. 
What do you reckon? Down, that is a delicious muffin. That's all I'm saying. Right, the absolute first thing we need to ascertain, as far as I'm concerned, is whether or not either of these look anything like a cake. Do you think it looks unlike a cake? If I'm honest, I'm struggling to see any resemblance whatsoever. I think they look spot on. Yeah, but you go to those trendy deconstructed food restaurants where they make burgers out of old shoes, don't you? I'm a man of tradition, and that picture does not match my mental image of a cake. But this is all subjective waffle. Let's be a bit more scientific about this, shall we? Good idea. Yes, cakiness aside, each side matched very closely. There was a decent number of different colours used, which I like. The more colours, the more sugars and additives. The more chance mm -hmm. there is of a cake having an effect on my worn-down taste buds. Well, art is subjective, and sticky note art, doubly so. Shall we attempt a score? OK, well, look, I'm not going to mark it on the quality of the art, because I think that speaks for itself. This one goes down to the effort they put in, and ultimately how alike the two pictures are. That's exceptionally magnanimous of you. Gosh, you really are just wonderful, I think. OK, so... So, just brilliantly done. A lovely pair of matching cakes. Can't really fault it, considering. Five points! Yes. Told you I was spot on. I'll it's take that. Video task time. Please make your way to the stage. What have they got in store for me this time? Oh no. Dietary intervention. All settled in, Greg? Yes, although I'm a little unnerved by the shopping trolley and ramps directed straight at me. <laughs> You're completely safe. I tested it. Well, I, di I didn't test it, but I thought about it a lot, and you'll almost probably be safe. Right. Well, let's get it over with, then. Give them the card. Let's go. Get a piece of fruit to the taskmaster. Fruit must be delivered via a remote-controlled shopping trolley. You have three minutes. Your time starts when Alex blows his whistle. Where's the shopping trolley? Oh, there. Okay. A piece of fruit. To the Taskmaster by the shopping trolley in three minutes. So, get a piece of fruit as close to Greg as possible. Once the fruit leaves the stage, we'll get you a new trolley for the next attempt. Ready? I'm ready. So, oh. First thing is to get the piece of fruit into the trolley. Oh. Shouldn't do that, I think I've got a limited amount of fruit. Whoa. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, here we go. Turn that way, go fast. Right, this is harder than it looks. Can you barge that one out of the way? Kind of, not really. Um, go coconut. Yes. Oh man. How do I get down? Oh, that would have done it. Having fun, Greg? Wonderful. Thanks for asking, Alex, you idiot. Okay, 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 okay. Come on. Can I get fruit in that one? My hand's stuck <laughs> in the wheel. Okay. Okay, reverse. Come on, straight, 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 straight. There we go. Spin, spin, spin. Stop. on oh I'm gonna lose it 
counting. Yes, okay. Gentle. Gentle. Ten, ten, ten. What the? <laughs> ah, blew it. Don't think anyone's impressed that you picked a weird fruit like tomato, Alex. I'm impressed. Thirty seconds. Oh God. Close. Ten seconds. Is it all over? Oh, man. We'll see what your fruity barrage has done to the final score. That was, uh, I thought I had that until the springs came out. Didn't knock my trolley over. <laughs> Fun studio cast, Greg. It was fun. It? Because I feel like I've just been subjected to a new and illegal interrogation technique. Hmm. I had fun. Well, yeah. that's what's important. Let's get to it. Now, quite close, wasn't it, that bit of fruit? I'd say the fruit gained proximity, but could not be legally classed as <laughs> close. It feels like two points waiting to happen. Or maybe Ooh, three. Ah, that's three. I can't decide. So, would you like to give us a score? Yes. This was the honeydew melon of performances. Solid, but unimpressive. Three points. I'll take it. All right. So okay. what are we looking at for the episode scores Not so far? terrible in the end. Greg's legs, 11. So what Greg's we legs. today? We've learned that when Friedrich Schiller famously said, art is difficult, transient is her reward, he probably hadn't considered some idiot standing in a dome slapping sticky notes on a rotating canvas. Until he does, until he sits and thinks about what he's done, thank you for playing and goodbye. All right, that's the end of episode two. That one was a little bit trickier and certainly not quite as successful as the first episode, but... Uh, really saved by the uh, the second task there. So that will wrap up this video for episode two, and I'll be back for the next one to show off episode three. Again, if you like this and want to see more, please consider subscribing. Helps me out a lot and keeps you in loop when your videos drop. And I do cover other VR games and indie games and all sorts of games as well. So stick around for that. And if you have any game suggestions for me, just let me know in the comments down below, and I'll hopefully see you for the next episode. So I'll see you then. Cheers.